I really like how like you're so tuned in with your thoughts and you always yeah. like, you know that's amazing you know that's really not easy to have something to have a lot of people have to really work on that mm -hmm. um so like so how did you like how did this yeah happen? so it's mainly um I think what really really helped is like was like sched the scheduling for whatever reason is what helped me kind of stay in tune with myself and it was like so what I did was um I think I used like your FE study plan um program that you provide for us uh where I would like kind of prioritize like which ones have like the most points and then and then I kind of would study down that way like from the highest to the lowest um and then I would assign like days to it like if it was a big a big one then I would give it five days of studying um and I kind of would be conservative that way and then I kind of just followed that schedule and as I was studying if I felt like I didn't give myself enough time I like I wouldn't allow myself to freak out because like oh the fifth day on this subject is coming and I still don't know anything so it was just kind of like it was hard. I had to like remind myself to be like kind of in Zen, like, okay, you have to like be okay with not following your schedule. Like that's why I, in every schedule, I always have like a buffer time. Um, and I do a lot of project management at work. So like construction management. So that kind of helped a little bit is just like knowing to schedule and provide buffers and knowing like things are going to delay your studying. I mean, just life happens. And so, um, I mean, and it was just like listening. If I felt like I was getting tired, then I just would stop. And I, I wanted to keep going, but I just, I knew that if I stopped and just relaxed that I could kind of come back to it. And sometimes the relaxing was like, I would relax and I would be, okay, I'm going to watch TV for the rest of the night. And I would feel my mind kind of waking up again. And I'm like, okay, maybe I can do a couple more hours and I'll try to do a couple more hours. And then, you know, it was just kind of like, kind of like um being flexible with like just your what your brain like what your brain or body wants to do I think that's just kind of what, how I became more and more in tune with it and then I kind of got and you like your body always creates patterns so I kind of knew like okay after five hours usually that's where I get tired so I'm gonna just stop at five hours and maybe I just need an hour break today or if I had like a really tough day at work then I'm like I know I'm not gonna focus so I'll, maybe I'll just give two hours and sometimes like I surprise myself I'm like oh you know what actually I can still go another hour so I'll, you know I'll go another hour and so um it was that's kind of how I started becoming more and more in tune as I started studying more and more and more is just like okay what am I feeling like making sure to stop like am I really like gonna be okay moving forward for another hour or am I getting too tired um, so that's, that's kind of how I started becoming more and more in tune with my, like, just brain and listening to what it wanted to do. Yeah, that's amazing. And I think, so I, what I would like about your whole plan is that you, the flexibility and that's when it's really important because when you have a rigid schedule and when you don't achieve mm -hmm. that, you start feeling disappointed. And mm -hmm. so being, being aware of that, like, Hey, things are going to happen, life happens, I might be tired, I might get sick, things, you know, like, it's really important to make sure that you are, you have a flexible schedule, and then, I feel like a lot of times, you just really just focus on the moment, you just, like, mm -hmm. you just focus on the daily, like, okay, today, how I feel, do I, can I mm -hmm. do two hours, can I do three hours, like, you're not focusing about tomorrow, and you're not really in, like, yesterday, oh, yesterday, mm -hmm. did three hours, I can do three hours today, no, you take it day by day. Okay, today, mm -hmm. how am I feeling? What can I do today? How far can I go? And I love that. Like being yeah. present and just kind of, that's very powerful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. That's amazing. Okay. Now, did you make any changes to your study habits or materials between the time you failed the FE exam versus the time you passed? Um, yes. I started really studying earlier. So um, I stopped uh what's the word like I um because I was I think I was like too confident in terms of like what I knew um and I kind of just humbled myself like okay you don't know what you think you know so let's start studying the stuff that you don't know and so um uh like it was kind of like who am I kidding like I don't know any of this um I, I think I, it was just increasing the time for myself you know instead of thinking like I was like okay obviously 
two or three weeks or a month before is not working. So I need to increase my time. But I think it's just, I think, I think maybe it's for most people, but for me, it was like, oh, like, why do I want to spend three months studying for this one exam? Like, you don't want to do this. Um, but it was just kind of like just sucking it up. Like, okay, it is what it is. I'm going to have to use three months. And I don't want to be doing this for three months, but I'd rather do this for three months than have to do it all over again, right? So um, that was one thing I changed. It definitely increased my time to give myself that flexibility because in the three months I was like cramming, trying to cram everything in and I was becoming discouraged because I couldn't like learn everything as fast as I wanted to do it. Um, so that was one thing. And then also just like watching those like YouTube videos, just watching the YouTube videos. And then your course I think was like the biggest help because um, I, and I, I'm, I didn't want to like buy anything I didn't want to buy any because I was like I can do it myself like I, I went through school I did it in school like I, I can do it myself um, but sometimes you kind of need like that additional help and then you have a lot of like tips and tricks that like I knew how to do it one way but you had like tips and tricks on how to do it faster and that's what helped and like really learning uh, one thing that I didn't do before was I didn't learn my calculator I didn't know all the functions it could do I didn't know um, like integrals, I realized all my other exams, I was doing integrals by hand to do like to take the test. And I was like, why am I giving myself this tough time? I could just do it, plug it in to my, com like my computer, um, my calculator and it, it'll be done. So um, I like matrices, like do, being able to do that on my calculator. And so just kind of a lot of that, like the combination of those three things, I think really, really made a big difference between my previous times and this time around yeah so before we end this video i just want to let you guys know that the courses are on sale right now so we have 20 percent on the fe bytes course 30 percent on the statics course and make sure that you grab them before december 6 because that's when the sale is going to expire we are also doing giveaways so make sure that you guys enter to win that's going to expire on december 1st which i believe the time when you guys watch this video but you still have time to enter so just grab the link in the description below good luck to all of you and if you guys like this video please give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week and also if you want to watch more videos to help you with your FE preparation just check out these videos here and thank you guys for watching good luck with your studying and i will see you soon à la prochaine yeah,